We typically measure closeness to God or a close relationship with God with how much we attend church or read the Bible and pray. We typically hear pastors such as myself and mentors say that if you want to get closer to God, those are the things you do. Um, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I actually haven't even mentioned the importance of attending church yet in this entire series. And I actually highly encourage it, but I've been focusing on your personal relationship with God more than anything. But uh, today, I really want to focus on something that we can really overlook uh, two ways, really, in this video and the next, the next devotional, of how we can live in a closer relationship with God. And we really do overlook this way too much. And so I'm hoping that I can help you uh, not miss out on this way of living closer to God. So I want to go to Matthew 4, 18 through 20. And it's so simple that we can actually miss it. And it says this in Matthew 4, 18 through 20. One day as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. Wow. Did you catch it, though? Did you catch what it, what it was on how to be close to God? It was really simple. They followed Jesus. They were close to Jesus. And I want to tell you right now that we are close to God when we follow Jesus and do his will on earth. They said yes to being close to God and doing his will to fish or bring people into the kingdom of God. So one of the most powerful ways we can grow closer to people is also the same way we can grow closer to God, and that is shared experiences. So when Jesus calls them to follow, and they did, they spent more time with him, and they also got to see and, and witness things they never would see if they stayed fishing for real fish. But instead, they decided to leave that life behind and go wherever Jesus goes, and they got quality time, and they got to grow in their serving of other people. Those who followed Jesus were able to witness, see, and know Jesus in a way no one else would. They would see miracles, signs, and wonders. They would, um, they would just see incredible things. Uh, following Jesus is a very practical and real way to experience a close relationship with God. And I've learned that the more I follow Jesus and serve who he wants me to serve and do what he wants me to do, I not only feel the presence of God, but I see him work through it. Uh, Ephesians 2.10 says this, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2, 1 through 10 tells us how we are saved, but verse 10 says what we're saved for. So we're not just saved from sin and death so we can have eternal life, but we're also saved for doing good works in the kingdom of God. And I just want to say something really simple. Um, I mean, I, here it is. We, we can't expect to feel close to God and then choose not to follow him. And I don't know if that hurts or not, but it hurts to think me, for me, you know, I want to be close to God, but am I willing to go and do what he wants me to do? Am I willing to go wherever he is? I think sometimes we can miss that. And we put it all about like hanging out with him and reading the Bible and praying. But God doesn't just read the Bible and pray with us. God also wants us to go love the lost and reach the lost and to serve one another, to, to go and change the world, to bring, to bring people into his kingdom like the fishermen to fish for people. So I don't rely on feeling to know I am close to God. But let me tell you, when I follow Jesus' commands to love God, love others, and make disciples, I definitely feel close to God. I'm more fulfilled and happier when I live with Jesus and do what he wants me to do. When I live out the word of God, I definitely feel close to God. And if we want to experience a closer relationship with him, it makes sense to be where he is, to go 
where he's going and to participate in the mission that God himself is so passionate about. If we don't feel close to God, it could be that we have kept him confined to our Sunday morning worship and confined into the four walls of our church. But if you want to feel closer to God, I want to challenge you to do something. When that church service is over, I want to challenge you to follow Jesus wherever he leads you next. It may be someone at a grocery store or a restaurant who seems very discouraged and needs help, needs encouragement, needs prayer. That's where God is too. And I'm telling you, if you obey the leading of the Holy Spirit, you will feel God like you've never felt before as you minister to that person. Um, so here's some action steps for you, but let me, let me uh, say this first. Uh, a disciple maker and author named Robbie Galladay said this, we are never closer to Jesus than when we're doing what he commands us to do. So true. I have seen it in my own life. So here's some action steps for you. Get involved in serving people in your church. Being there for other people is what God wants us to do. Uh, get close to one person you can pray for. And together, read the Bible and share scripture with one another. Encourage each other with, with scripture and, uh, and pray as well when you gather. Um, serve and show kindness to people outside of your church. Like I said, if you're at the grocery store or a restaurant, on a Sunday or throughout the week, serve people or get involved in serving in your community in some way. And then lastly, share the true story of Jesus and what he's done for you and also what he's done for the person you're talking to. Don't be afraid to share what's truly happened in your life and what Jesus means to you and what he's done for your life. That's what Jesus would do. So Jesus, yeah, does he hang out with us at church? Yeah. Is his Holy Spirit with us? When we're reading the Bible and praying, yeah. But there's more to being in a close relationship with God. There's going out and doing what he came on earth to do, and he's not done yet. And he, he didn't save us just for salvation. He saved us for good works, as Ephesians 2.10 says. So if you want to feel closer to God, you are closer to God. But if you want to feel closer, I highly recommend getting involved in the mission and following Jesus wherever he goes. Let me pray about that. God, we thank you for this word today and this devotional. Lord, uh, may we not put you in a box on how we grow spiritually. We also grow by following Jesus. We see in scripture that you stretched ordinary men and women to new levels and to a deeper hunger and growth with you because they followed you and they shared those experiences together. So God, I pray that you would also do that in our lives. And God, we say yes to following your lead, your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we want to be close to you because we love you. And we also want to do what matters to you as well. And that's to, to reach this world for the kingdom of God and to share Jesus with as many people as we can. So God, we step out and we do that. And we look forward to experiencing more of your presence because of it. In Jesus' name, amen.